Hello and welcome to another PAL World video. This is a glitch type of video where I'll be showcasing five to six glitches, depends on how you look at them. If you just want to view what the glitches are or want to skip to a specific one, I'll be leaving timestamps in the bottom so you can have a look and skip through to where you want to watch. If you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be really, really appreciated. I'm going to be running over here and showing you the duplication glitch. The reason why I'm using this is because I have made quite a lot of important stuff. So I'm building a production assembly line. This will give me all of those things on screen right there. It is absolutely brilliant and I cannot wait to show you. This thing is so good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crouch first so we have the slower movement speed. And if you haven't seen this before, this is really, really handy to do. So you, as you can see, I can't actually build it if I'm standing out here because I don't have anything on me. But if I go into my base, I do. So you have to get the real fine line between not having it and having it. You click to build it, and as you click, you just run outside your base. So you go bang. It might not always work. So I can tell if I just exit that, I'm now at 491. That did actually work. This now leads on to my next glitch, the fact that I've put all of these in this chest, but it's quite a isolated chest on its own. I don't really want it here. I want everything to go over there. But if I take all, I have 4,000 weight over 1,200. So I have some free space. So what you want to do is hold the left mouse button in here so it's like that. And while you're still holding it down, press tab. As you can see, I'm actually holding it and I'm running at the same time. I can even sprint. I want to Still holding it down, I want to press F to open, and then I will just drag it and drop it in there. How good is that? I think I've just lost the bullet that was in there, so you don't want to have it over anything, but it's only a bullet, that's fine. And once again, this is a very good thing, so I'm now leading on to my next point. So I'm in the small settlement. No, I'm not doing the tower boss glitch. I'm gonna be running over to this merchant over here. Whoa, Jesus. So what I'll be doing is I'll run over to this guy and I'm gonna show you a really, really good technique. So after you've done the duplication glitch to get all of that iron, I've got almost 600 iron now. What if you wanna go and sell it? Well, if I go to sell, so as you can see, if I wanna sell the iron ingot, I look at it and it's now worth 20 gold. However, if I want to now move over to the nail on the right hand side, it's worth 160 gold which is absolutely mental because if I show you here now running back to my workbench, I can create nails. It needs one iron ingot for two nails. So what do we say? One iron ingot is worth 20 gold and one nail is worth 160. So instead of selling your iron, create it into nails and you can pretty much have infinite money. It's absolutely insane. I cannot recommend this method highly enough. It's not actually a glitch. It's just a mechanic in the game that I'm not sure why they've really done it, but I mean, why not use it? It's not actually a glitch. So the final glitch is one of the best glitches in the game, to be honest, because it is two glitches in one. It absolutely shoots you across the map and basically gives you God mode as well. It is unreal. I cannot recommend using this enough. This is absolutely crazy. So if I go over to this, I've built this little thing here. If I stand on the edge, just use a glider all the way down here where I land. It's not that far. It's pretty far, but I mean, it could be better, right? Well, if I go down here and back up to the top and then I show you here at the top again, going into here, I can replace a glider with a piece of armor. That works. So now I T-pose and oh my God, you go so much further. Look at that. Look how much further I went. The fact that I now don't have a glider on, but I can still use a glider, which is actually better than a regular one. It also gives me a buff in my armor stat. So if I take it off, it sends my armor down. So if I put it back on, oh, the only way you can do it now that it's off is I have to equip the glider and then drag it from the glider to the armor. And this also works for every other accessory that I have. So I can get rid of my metal helmet for an extra shield. I can get rid of this heat resistant undershirt for another shield and this water resistance that I just have on for no reason. 
for another piece of armor. And I am now absolutely stacked. If you have the best armor in the game, you can make about five sets and just be unreal and completely god mode. And it also, now you can see I'm wearing cold resistant and heat resistant armor. So I don't have to change whether I'm in cold environments or hot environments. It just doesn't matter. This is absolutely ridiculous and I, I think this will get patched because this isn't right. This should not be in the game, but uh, it's very, very fun. I think it's cool. But anyway, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. And goodbye.